Hello, hello, all. Just wanted to jump on here, say Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, all the shebangity bang. Um, this is the last day of 2021, and it's been a roller coaster of a year. First off, rest in peace to our only living golden girl, Miss Betty White. 2021 just couldn't let us have nothing. We couldn't just go out with a bang. We had to go out in tragedy, right? <sighs> this year has just been crazy. It's been, like I said, roller coaster. Um, I'm pretty sure for everybody else, it's been a lot. As far as tragedies, as far as this gosh darn virus <sighs> it's been a roller coaster oh my god it's been a roller coaster for me this year was a roller coaster of emotions this year tested my patience my will my sanity but what i do take from this year is the fact that i have a better handle on my triggers, my mental health, and everything. Oh, by the way, yeah. So my birthday was yesterday, but because there's been a lot going on as far as like COVID and my family and whatnot, my birthday is extended through to January. Many reasons why. Um, but right now, I am in the Poconos with friends who were lovely enough to set up a little birthday getaway to help with my healing and they've been awesome shout out to broski lissy ellie and tamara and to my sister who could not join us but she was a part of the birthday festivities um yeah so this is why you see me with my crown on because i am still the birthday queen i'm gonna be the birthday queen till january 31st <laughs> <laughs> deal with it but yeah this year has been a lot uh roller coaster like it was really testing everything my faith my beliefs my control my will my power my sanity anything you could think of i've been tested and I know I'm going to continue to be tested come 2022 because that's what life is. Life is a test, but, you know, it's all in how you deal with it. Um, what positives can I think about for 2021? Um, experience, happiness, and... A relationship that's a positive you know I got to experience um, being happy feeling secure and whatnot you know I got to experience that and it was it was a joy um, getting two jobs <laughs> that was like one of my many highlights getting two jobs after being unemployed due to the pandemic for 20 months I was proud of myself with that because I was nervous about going back to work with the one job but for me to secure two jobs and be in school and be a mom of two that's an accomplishment for me so I'm very proud of myself with that um oh my gosh getting a good grade in my statistics class because statistics was hard Jesus that was a hard class but you know I did tutoring and I stuck by it because I was ready to throw in a towel and I didn't and I'm very proud of myself for that. So as I always say, I'm a lot stronger than I give myself credit for and hopefully within this next year, with this new year, I give myself a lot more credit because I don't. I always count myself out before I even give myself a chance, you know, so I hope that I could work on better in that. I hope. That with 2022 coming, I could get better at um, 
loving myself more, you know, like this year, I, I, I notice my boundaries, I see my growth or whatever, but I hope, I hope next year I can just work on giving myself more credit and having higher vibrations, higher energy, better thoughts. So now is where I do the real work as it pertains to my spirituality. So that's what my main focus is going to be within the new year. I've already started, but I just want to be consistent with it, like continuing to meditate if need be, continuing to journal, continuing to manifest. So I'm hoping just to do better with the new year and just seeing how it goes. I used to get excited for the new year. Now, not so much because it's like, it hasn't been a good, it hasn't been a happy new year in the past couple of years. Like, especially with this pandemic, this pandemic has been depressing as hell. And it's just been a lot going on. Like COVID is just terrible and it's only getting worse. It's not even getting better. So if my energy is a little low, it's just been a lot. Like this, this new year hasn't been, it's been very meh. The holidays have been very meh, but I appreciate like everyone wanting to rally around me and love on me and make me feel better because of the circumstances of the holidays that I'm not going to go into now because I don't want to right now. It's still very raw. Um, I'll probably touch on it when I do the first vlog of 2022, but we'll see. Yeah. But I'm just um, glad to see a new year. I'm glad I'm bringing it in with people that I love, people who love me. Glad I'm bringing it in happy. Glad I'm going to have fun. Um, it, like I said, it's just been a lot. Like As much of a roller coaster as this year has been, today has been a roller coaster too. It's been a lot going on. Um, but I'm just trying to like see the light. You know, see the bright side of things. You have to because it's been a tough couple of years. So, yeah. Um, I don't really have too much to say. Like I said, if my energy is low, that's why it's just been a lot going on. Um, but I'm not going to stay on here long. I just want to wish everyone who is a friend, supporter, follower, anybody, anybody who's, uh, supported me in any way in my content. Just want to wish you a happy new year. Happy Kwanzaa once again. Um... I hope we all have a safe, prosperous one. I hope we all get all that we desire and more. I hope that when the clock strikes midnight, you know, you sit and you manifest and you think about your blessings. You think about your future blessings. You think about your family, loved ones, everybody. And I just hope we all have some type of better, some type of sunshine within the new year. I just hope it's all good news and everything within the new year because it's deserved. We deserve it. So like I said, I won't be on here too long, but happy new year. I love you. Um, I'll cover more bases in the vlog of 2022, but yeah, thank you for rocking out with me and hopefully I see you in the next video.